the two things that you need to heal erectile dysfunction. I'm Dr. Trish Lee. I help men and women recover from sexual arousal dysfunction, what I call SAD. So if you're SAD and you're having difficulty with especially erectile dysfunction or delayed ejaculation, I want you to know there is a solution and you can heal sexual arousal dysfunction from the inside out and never deal with it ever again. I want you to know healing is possible. I work with so many people who they give up and they feel hopeless because they've been dealing with it for years. There is a solution. It's simple, but maybe not easy. It involves two steps and you can begin to use it immediately and you will start healing from erectile dysfunction and delayed ejaculation. It also helps with PE, premature ejaculation, but that has a little bit different mechanism underneath it. Okay, so let's talk about these two things. Number one is that at the core of SAD, sexual arousal dysfunction, is a dysfunctional brain pattern. ED is a brain problem. Most people think about it as a genital or an organ problem or a body problem. It's not. It's an arousal dysfunction in the brain. I've seen thousands of brains of people with ED, and what I see is that their baseline arousal has been made dysfunctional, and typically it's been dysfuncted, not a word, by explicit matter and the use of pornography and sexual media. So here I want to pause for a second and have you think, have you been exposed to pornography? Have you gone back with any level of frequency, consistency, and especially if you've used porn with intensity? Intensity means you've been going for higher levels of dopamine flowing in your brain so you can feel better and better. You may have clicked on genres that you didn't think you would ever find yourself in. You're looking for what I call the friction point, where you're looking for arousal and anxiety at the same time so that your brain can feel as good as possible. At the core of erectile dysfunction, typically is a dopamine dependency from explicit matter, meaning your brain needs very high levels of dopamine to feel aroused. And by giving it that, you have created a baseline arousal dysfunction. It's that baseline level. So let's say this, at a healthy level, a healthy brain has a baseline arousal of five. So that means then when that person is aroused sexually with a partner, they need to go to six, seven, eight, maybe nine to feel good and to have a nice sexual experience. Now your brain is used to level 15 to get aroused from explicit matter, pornography and sexual media. Now your brain needs 15, so you're no longer at level five. You may be anywhere from low arousal or you likely have high arousal and you feel wired and tired a lot. And if you're feeling wired and tired, that means your baseline arousal has been changed. You're up at seven, eight or nine and you need 15 to feel good in a sexual experience, which you cannot get from a real life partner. You can only get it from the intensity you found in the screen. That's what's at the core of erectile dysfunction. So what's the solution? It's healing that brain dysfunction. And I've helped so many people. We identify that baseline arousal dysfunction on what is called a QEG brain map. I can see how your brain is running. I can show you where the dysfunction is and I can show you the levels of dysfunction. That's how we can identify, are you using a baseline arousal dysfunction brain? Which there's two main patterns. One I call strained brain, the other I call drained brain. Strained brain is a pattern of a person who's still caught up in the dopamine cycle of explicit matter. If you've tipped into erectile dysfunction, you've been struggling with it for years, you likely are using a pattern I call drained brain. Your brain has artificially shifted into neutral and has gotten stuck there. So if your car's in neutral, you can't make it go. So the idea is when we identify that, then I use 
very high level state of the art technology that's on an online platform. I work with people all over the world. You can take your brain map at home. We can see the arousal dysfunction on a Zoom together. Then I make the plan on what we're going to do to heal your brain. Then you use the technology at home. It's very simple. It's a passive technology. You don't have to do anything. The tech does the work for you. It's like a workout for your brain and it'll heal that arousal dysfunction. The way that it works is it's called neurofeedback. It gives your brain feedback when it's using the healthier pattern of healthy arousal and your brain is rewarded for using that pattern through audio and visual feedback. I liken it to bicep curls. If you want to get stronger biceps, all you need is 20 pound weights, depending on how strong you are, 20 pound weights and start cranking the reps. All you have to do is crank the bicep curls. And when 20 pounds gets too light, you swap it out for 30 and you start cranking those reps again. You don't have to think, I want big biceps. That doesn't do anything for you. You don't have to look at your bicep and talk to it. You don't have to talk to other people and figure out how you're going to make your biceps big. You just have to crank the reps. So when you use this technology, you're able to crank out reps for your brain and make it stronger and heal that arousal dysfunction. That's number one. But my friend, this is a two way street. So let's talk about number two. When we regulate your brain and we heal that dysfunction, it's imperative that you build a lifestyle that no longer includes desensitization of your brain. We're resensitizing it with the tech and the workouts, but you have to stay away from desensitization. What that means is you have to come out of the porn cycle. Porn's highly addictive. So for most people, it's not a choice if they're watching porn. It's a compulsion. We know that it's been identified as part of compulsive sexual behavior disorder. You feel the urge, the craving, the need to go back to porn for the dopamine. It's a dopamine dependency. It can be very difficult to leave behind. It's imperative that you build a lifestyle that no longer includes hypersexuality, which would be use of pornography, use of sexual media, even lusting and fantasy in the real world. Every time you go to fantasy in your mind, about high dopamine producing sexual thoughts, you know what happens? You're desensitizing your brain again. So it's a two way street. You use technology to identify the arousal dysfunction and then heal it. Number two, you learn how to build a lifestyle that no longer includes porn, explicit matter and sexual media. So if you're interested in help, please go over to drtrishlee.com. I offer a QEEG brain map where we can get together for an hour. I can show you everything your brain is doing and everything your brain needs to heal. And then if you're interested, you can get into neurofeedback, personal coaching with me. I can be your personal trainer who helps to train your brain. It's a four month program. Over four months, we heal your brain from that arousal dysfunction and you get to ride off into the sunset with your honey. Number two, if you can't stay out of that porn cycle and if you keep feeling the pull into porn, objectifying women or checking them out, fantasy in your mind, sexual media on social media, if you can't stop that, go over to my website, drtrishlee.com. I offer a digital program. It's called Porn Free Brain Forever. It's designed to be done in about 100 days, but you have it for life if you need it. I offer a group coaching meeting each month that goes along with it so I can help you in a group there. So please go over to my website, check it out, and I'd love to help you if it feels good. All right, until next time, control your brain or it'll control you.